What's good, everybody? Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. So far, the game has been very adventurous. I love the game so far. Nothing bad to say about it. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So, we met. We met. Zobia or whatever her name is. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Zenobia. <laughs> Zenobia. We got Zenobia's gobstones. That's an assignment we're on. We did Professor Ronin's um, assignments to get Repairo, which repairs stuff. I went ahead and prepared this little statue right here. Um, so, at the moment. I think I'm going to hold off on one of the, the gobstones and then track going to Hogsmeade because that's what I've been wanting to do. But you had to get Reparo first, so now we're on our way. Um, wanted to check out my gear again. You can wear glasses, but I don't want to wear no Harry Potter glasses. I thought I would have other things because I bought the deluxe edition. Um, I've been trying to cipher through everything and see if maybe I had more, but I do not. So, anybody has any tips on that? Drop a comment below. We're gonna go ahead and try to find our way to meet up with everybody and head to Hogsmeade. I think I'm only going with one other person. Oh, use. I'll do that later. There's so much to do in this game. I'm loving it so far. I really am. I, I freaking have had so much fun. <clears throat> Alright, meeting up with her. That's right. You have to choose. Last episode I had chose her. So, here we go. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Alright, let's do this. I wonder what it's like. I've never seen anything on Hogsmeade, so... We are, I think, I'm outside of the castle. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend this is an beautiful. invitation to you myself. I, I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Man, everything about this game so far has been beautiful. Tell you how nice Hogwarts it is North Exit. Oh my god. So we're outside the castle. Greatness. We're definitely outside the castle. Class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Dang. So, uh, yeah. What I do know is everything that you see afar, you can go to. It's crazy. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone it's watering itself. Ah. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Be cool if we got like different seasonal um, oh, wait, environments. Here. Like, like what I meant that, like, different seasons, there. going through oh, spring, fall, winter, so summer. They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Potion making, okay. Outside of the castle. I still can't, look, I can't, I can't believe that. The forest. Hippogriffs. 
I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh yeah. I think we can ride those too. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. I'm sure oh, I'll be there later. It's over the crest, past that ruin. Hogsmeade over the crest, past the ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the I mean, area. I'm going to be doing it's that, so... She said that? Hmm. She knows more about Oh, shit! I wasn't I expecting that. <laughs> well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned Take those two. of the castle walls. Leaping toadstool caps. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon. Oh yes, it's, it's very cat. much become my home. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Oh Pleasure. shit. Um, you might want to Sorry. Back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? He's drunk. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I and you drop the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. I feel you. <laughs> Moon, a Debbie guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs meat. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Moonstone. Rumors being okay, so that's what that inside. is. It might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogs mid. Where's the mead? And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Another the kitty. Broomsticks is the I can't help it. Happier. And you can get any sweet you can imagine. It's a weird looking cat, drinks. though. I could not Look at that cat! Shop here. That is not a cat. With every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Love it. Everything is so sick. I feel like I'm at Disneyland when I'm walking through here. It's so strange. Because I'm pretty sure... Professor Hold on. Professor said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. I will do that. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I cannot wait to get my own wand. Okay, we're in Hogsmeade now. Interesting. Oh, haircut. Oh, wow. You can change your appearance and I'm sure Hogsmeade Square was where. Okay, so the clothing store. Wait. A beast supply shop? Oh, so you could probably. The beast that you ride. So this is where we need to go. Magic Neep. Fresh produce. 
potions and then we're gonna okay so yeah that that's what we need to do potions and this guy I'll be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah mm. hello sir I'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes I about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Uh, okay, so a spiral ash brown, wood is pine, unicorn hair, swishy tent. Okay, I don't know. Oh, you get how intriguing. You can customize your, your wands. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Curious indeed. This is interesting because I, I wouldn't even know what to get. I want dragon hair string. For sure. And I'm gonna go back to How intriguing. What? Okay, this is so cool. Curious Not that indeed. one. Not that one. I don't know. I'm kind of. I'm kind of liking that one. Ah, uh, maybe not that one. How intriguing! You can probably get more of these, right? Ah, uh, the black one. Let's see. I, I, I'm really picky for some reason. Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with this one and then okay so we got that all right now we need to hold on something's stuck there we go Indeed. <sighs> I don't know, man. What does the length matter? 
I mean, if I had a really long wand, what would that do? Let's just go with 11 and a quarter inch. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> That's crazy. You can purchase a wand. And magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Awesome. Okay, so we got our wand, and now we need to do potions. Just... 35! Okay, so you can search chests around Hogsmeade. I'm sure you can find more. Now, give me a second here. I do want to go and uh, check out this clothing store. I wonder if I have enough money to get new clothes. That'd be sick. I just want to see what they have. Yeah, here we go. What up, man? Do I talk to you or what? Okay, that's creepy. Can I purchase clothes here? I would like to get some clothes. Man. That'd be crazy if I could just... I guess maybe I can't get clothes yet. But I'll drink your tea, sir. All right, then. What else did we need to do? Potion store? Man, this game is so cool. I, I have, like, everything I can do. Everything I could ever want. In a Harry Potter game. I mean, I know it's not Harry Potter based, but welcome to J. Pippin's potions. It's extremely inspired by it. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness! When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here, though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well. Harry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and 
I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, uh, so I believe it's just these two. Feel free to Healing. take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Gear. No. I don't need any gear neither. <clears throat> I don't want to waste all of my money. Combat tools. Okay, yeah, I don't even have enough for those. So I think I think just those two, and then we can move on to the next one. Scrolls. Oh, I need to track it myself. Okay, so we're going to go to scrolls. I'm going to go to this one right here. Scrolls, tombs. Okay, yeah. I have no idea what this is going to consist of. Wow, he can jump pretty far. What's in here? Ah, level two. Level two. Interesting. Because I thought I was level three. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Alright, so... Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Interesting, small potion station spellcraft. If Ability to conjure. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Nope. Don't think so. Alright. So now we need to go to the one with the leaf. Which one was that? The magic neep. The magic neep. Take me there, book. I can't wait to get the, uh... The Cloak of Invisibility, or something like that. Hey! Okay, I, I was gonna say, I'm stuck! I can't move. Well, hello there! Hello, mate! Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. 
Dittany seeds unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. None I would like to waste my money on right now, well, sir. That's everything. Better go and find Natty. All right, let's go and find Natty. Man, does anybody know if uh, I'll be able to go through the Forbidden Force to get to the Dark Arts Arena? I, I just have a strong feeling that's where it would be. Without a doubt. I mean, anything Dark Arts is forbidden. Ah, oh, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's a fucking big ass troll. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing that for. Oh wow, so I can like literally repair anything that breaks. That's pretty cool. Uh. Oh shit. Okay. Trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. Look, he's faltering. Something wrong, huh? Huh. I mean, that's like doing little damage. I can't, I can't even use Leviosa on him. Almost done. Yep. Ooh, to invoke ancient magic. Ooh, wow. Troll with the punches. Trophy earned. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. She looks nothing like an officer, I'll tell you that. Whoa. It's crazy. How do you do that? Wish I could do that. Hello there. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Repair Well, let's go ahead and put shit back where it's supposed to go. That's one.
damn, you really can't repair anything. That is so freaking cool. Alright, what else do we need to repair? Repair. One more thing. Well, okay, yeah. No? It's gotta be right here, right? Reparo! Yeah. Is a singer to worry about. I'm just like... What else? What else is needing repairs? There's one more thing. Where is it? Something over here? No. What does she need me to repair? Repair. Okay, just some boxes. I figured, like, it didn't really show me, I don't think. I mean, the boxes were lit up, but when I was doing that, right here, it wouldn't fix it. So now we can go ahead and speak to the shop keeper. What's that? Money? Money, 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 money. I could only assume he is the shopkeeper. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Let's see what we got. your perusal today. Take your time. What is this? Preview gear. What is it? Just the same thing I had on? Or is it... Select the, the cloaks. Oh, so it's... The same cloak, I think. Strange. Alright. Man. Oh, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure there's more other other shops out there. I like that, but I don't know. I don't have any money for anything. But at what least that protection. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. All right. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Sure. I'll come back later. When I have money. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. What? Want to know. What the heck is a butterbeer?
You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh yeah, no, they for sure saw us. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> that little old goblin is so funny. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timely. Oh, very nice. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said... My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. What is Butterbeer? Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Is it, ac ac is it like actual beer with butter? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think yeah. that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and have a conversation about this that we shouldn't have right now. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Yeah, we might as well go back. Okay. Except. Alright. Well, I think this is a good stopping point here for part three. Again, I do love you all. Thank you, as always, for joining me. And if you are not subscribed, please take five seconds to hit that subscribe button. And maybe... If you don't want to subscribe, leave a like, comment below. And if you are subscribed or are going to, going to subscribe, <laughs> please turn all notifications on so you get notified every time I drop new content. Again, pleasure to have you guys here. This has been so much fun for me. And I'll see you on the next one.